God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created him. The book of Genesis says. However, St. Paul says, I do not understand my own behavior. I do not act as I mean to, but I do the things that I hate. So, it is not myself acting, but the sin that dwells in me. Lent is a journey of our returning to God. Pope Francis says, it is a journey that involves our whole life, our entire being. Lent is not just about the little sacrifices we make, but about discerning where our hearts are directed. Is my heart directed towards God or towards myself? By listening daily to His words, may God's love and guidance be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as another world or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Responsorial Psalm Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. The second reading is from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight, then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desire nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offerings of the body of Jesus Christ once for all.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Excerpts from the Catechesis of Pope Francis during his general audience on the 23rd of October of 2013. Mary as the model of faith. In what sense does Mary represent a model for the church faith? Let us think about who the Virgin Mary was. A Jewish a girl who was waiting with all her heart for the redemption of her people. But in the heart of the young daughter of Israel, there was a secret that even she herself did not know. In God's loving plan, she was destined to become the mother of the Redeemer. At the Annunciation, the Messenger of God calls her full of grace and reveals his plan to her. Mary answers yes, and from that moment, Mary's faith receives a new light. It is concentrated on Jesus, the Son of God, who from her took flesh and in whom all the promises of salvation history are fulfilled. Mary's faith is the fulfillment of Israel's faith. The whole journey, the whole path of that people awaiting redemption is contained in her and it is in this sense that she is the model of the church's faith, which has Christ, the incarnation of God's infinite love, as its center. How did Mary live this faith? She lived it out in the simplicity of a thousand daily tasks and worries of every mother, such as providing food, clothing, caring for the house. It was precisely Our Lady's normal life which served as the basis of the unique relationship and profound dialogue which unfolded between her and God, between her and her Son. Mary's yes, already perfect from the start, grew until the hour of the cross. There, her motherhood opened to embrace every one of us our lives, so as to guide us to her Son. Mary lived perpetually immersed in the mystery of God-made man as his first and perfect disciple, 
by contemplating all things in her heart in the light of the Holy Spirit in order to understand and live out the will of God. We can ask ourselves a question. Do we allow ourselves to be illumined by the faith of Mary, who is our mother? Or do we think of her as distant, as someone too different from us? In moments of difficulty, of trial, of darkness, do we look to her as a model of trust in God who always and only desires our good? Let's think about this. Perhaps it will do us good to rediscover Mary as the model and figure of the church in this faith that she possessed. The reality Mary teaches us is very beautiful. To always be united with Jesus, we can ask ourselves, do we remember Jesus only when something goes wrong and we are in need? Or is ours a constant relation, a deep friendship, even when it means following Him on the way of the cross? Let us ask the Lord to grant us His grace, His strength, so that the model of Mary, Mother of the Church, may be reflected in our lives and in the life of every ecclesial community. So be it. Let us pray. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary? Grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.